Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science, and we're continuing our ruckus build, our ECX ruckus bomb proof build, just incorporating all the lessons we've learned from our previous ruckuses. Um, so uh, we we got our in our previous episode we. Uh, we got our um, hinge pins situated. Uh, we thought that we might have the wrong ones in there. They just weren't seated in all the way. Pull them out. Um, make sure that made sure that they were straight. Put them back in. The suspension uh, moves nice and free here in the rear. Uh, next up here is the gearbox. So uh, again, we bought this as a roller off of eBay and. Um, you know, sometimes it's, it's, uh, you, you just, um, uh, it's luck of the draw in terms of what you get. You, do, you really don't know how the previous owner, um, kept this RC or abused it or whatever. Uh, and you know, usually you can't see those details in person. So you're buying it sight unseen. Um, when we open up the, um, the gearbox, um, we were, we were pleased to find, Metal gears. So here's the differential. So we were we were pleased to find metal gears, but uh, which is nice. You know, you, usually if you if you have to upgrade um, them from a, a plastic gear set like you have in, in the brushed version over here, uh, that's that's going to be another uh, you know thirty dollars in parts that you'll need to buy. You'll you'll need to buy the steel gear set. Um, which we actually do have one around here, not on the workbench right now, but we do have one. Um, so that saved us some money there, but um, upon opening up this gearbox, we noticed some metal fragments. You can let me point this out here with the driver. Um, it might be a little bit hard to see with the lighting on the camera, but there there are some fragments in there. Uh, you know, if I take the other side of the case here, you will see some over here as well, right? There's uh, a pretty large one. Um, now examining the gears, nothing seems to be chipped or broken. So maybe it was the, the previous gear set that was in there that uh, the owner uh, had swapped out or whatnot. Um, there didn't really seem to be any grease on this either, which is another thing. Usually, you know, it, well, always with metal to metal gear contact, you're gonna you're gonna want some sort of lube in there, um, some grease. So uh, the fortunate thing is that we have no grease to clean out, and uh, that's one less headache to deal with there, or you know, one less thing to do. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and take these gears out. Um, we're I think we're gonna you know the bearings here we're okay, but um, they're not you know they're metal shielded, they're not rubber shielded, so. Uh, you know, the, for the type of running we're going to be doing in, in high dust, high, you know, mud, wet situations, you will want to uh, use some sealed bearings. So we're going to go ahead and get some sealed bearings in here as well. But just wanted to show you guys the, the gearbox inside before we clean that out and button it back up together. Um, so uh, one of the, uh, the other missing pieces here and uh, we'll get this done. We won't make you guys watch us do this on camera because uh, basically we're just gonna be, uh, I'm gonna just pop out all the gears and uh, you know wipe this down, um, probably just with some rubbing alcohol to, uh, to get the grease uh, and the metal fragments out there. Um, you, you can wash this as well with a, with a mild detergent, um, you know, just dish soap or whatnot too. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, that will be our next step here. Uh, one nice thing to note with the the ECX platform here, so they use it for the ruckus, the um, the the torment. Basically, those two are exactly the same. Uh, there's also the the buggy and the amp, uh, which share a lot of the common parts. But the nice thing compared to the the slash here is that. Uh, the, the the gearbox is separate from uh, the the suspension mounts and whatnot. So you know the, this whole gearbox is its own assembly, right? You could pop this in and out without disturbing any of the uh, the suspension or having to disassemble or reassemble any of the suspension. So that's that's definitely a nice feature. I, I can show you the completed product here, right? So. You know, in the slash, the 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 lower control arms are actually um, 
mounted directly onto the transmission. So, uh, you know, if you break a transmission mount, you're gonna have to, or if you break a suspension mount, you're gonna have to replace the gearbox and vice versa as well. Uh, it, it, uh, you know, it, 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 it seems like it'd be simpler because, you know, they, they are integrated, but it actually ends up being more of a headache because when you want to service the gearbox, of course, uh, on a slash, you're going to have to also, um, you know, basically do a lot more disassembly than you would with, uh, not a lot more, but a couple more screws and whatnot that you have to mess around with versus here in the ruckus. If you take these two screws out, that'll actually take out the, um, you know, and, and these top two screws. Let me see if I can get that in the camera there. You take those out, you take those bottom screws out, you can just pop out the transmission with, with six screws. Um, so I'd have to give the advantage to the, um, the ruckus in that category in terms of it being easily able to, to uh, service the, the transmission. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you guys like these videos, if you find them useful. And we'll catch you next time.